653 right now. Welcome back in to the Thursday edition of Good Morning Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. And I'm Ashley James. Our big story of the morning. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz has died. He died of cardiac arrest earlier this morning. WMAR 2 News' is Megan Knight joins us more on his death. Megan? Yeah, Ashley, uh, the word shocking is one that I've been seeing time and time again as I've been looking through Twitter and seeing uh, people's reactions to the news that Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz has died at the age of 60. Uh, what we know right now is that it was around 2 o'clock this morning that Kamenetz woke up in his home in Owings Mills. He was complaining of feeling ill, so he was rushed by ambulance to the University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center, where an hour and a half later, around 3.30 this morning, he was pronounced dead by doctors dying of cardiac arrest. Now, Kamenitz is very, very well known in Baltimore County, had a very long career in both law and politics. He got his start as a prosecutor at the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office, and then it was in 1994 that he ran for a seat on the Baltimore County Council. He served four terms there before then running for the next top leader position in the county, county executive. He won that in 2010, and he was uh, reelected in 2014. Of course, most notably, uh, as of late, he has been running to to uh, get the Democratic nomination for the governor's race uh, for that election coming up against Republican Larry Hogan in November. We've been getting a lot of reaction this morning on social media from people who knew candidates, even were running against him. For example, Ben Jealous, one of his top competitors in the Democratic race for the governor's position. Uh, he tweeted this morning, he was very saddened to learn of Kamenitz's passing. He said, quote, he dedicated his life to public service to making a difference and he helped move Maryland forward. He also went on to say that he always remembered Kamenitz for the grace and good humor he showed each of his fellow candidates as they would line up backstage waiting for the events to begin. Uh, we also got a statement from uh, Governor Larry Hogan offering his condolences uh, from him and the First Lady there uh, saying that it was uh, very sad to learn about the passing and their prayers go out to them. T.J. Smith, the Baltimore City Police, also tweeting this morning lots of reactions to the sudden passing of Baltimore County Executive Cameron Kemenes. We're expecting to have a news conference at 11 o'clock this morning to get more details. For now, we're live in Towson. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR2 News. Okay.